Hello, my name is Feng Rong Yang, and I'm currently a first year PhD student in Educational Psychology and Quantitative Methods in UB. Collaborative technologies create spaces for people to interact, exchange ideas, and connect. Regardless of geographical location, age, race, gender, physical ability, or any of the other ways that can separate us. They help us share ideas and develop communities. Some collaboration tools enable synchronous collaboration, meaning real-time exchanges. Other tools facilitate asynchronous collaborations. These enable participants to engage with and contribute to collaborations at different times. For example, one person can start the creation of a slideshow and then another person or an additional group of people can continue to add or to edit the original file. The tools often include video and audio and enable collaborators to share screens, documents and files, and most importantly, ideas. An advantage of real-time collaborative tools is that we can easily replicate aspects of being together in a physical space. When we can see each other, our sense of connection is increased. Think of web conferencing as a good example of real-time collaboration. Web conferencing is very similar to making a phone call, but it also provides the advantage of seeing the other people you're communicating with. Conferencing tools often enable desktop and document sharing, file transfers, the use of a whiteboard, and the ability to record meetings. Companies use audio and video collaboration tools to facilitate both formal and informal exchanges among colleagues, allowing participants to experience the benefits of face-to-face -face meetings. Technology tools that facilitate real-time exchanges are often free and allow you to communicate from your computer, phone, or tablet.